Greetings and welcome to Temple Baptist Church in Poplar Bluff, Missouri. I want to share with you a little bit today about that wonderful, that awesome name, the name of Jesus. In the beginning of the Ten Commandments, the directions that God gave His people in order to live in a way that was pleasing to Him and in order to get along with one another. In one of those very first passages, listen to what the Lord says. You shall not take the name of the Lord your God in vain, for the Lord will not hold him guiltless who takes his name in vain. The name of Jesus today is used in so many different ways in our culture today, many of them uh, not appropriate. But I want to share with you, there is no other name that can be compared with that of Jesus. It stands alone. He only is Redeemer, Savior, Christ, Anointed of God, Messiah. His rank, His titles, His dignity are above all others. Instead of using the name of Jesus in vain or associated with cursing, we should realize what power there is associated with the name of Jesus. Listen to what it says in Philippians chapter 2, verses 9 and 10. Therefore, God also has highly exalted Jesus and given Him the name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow of those in heaven and of those on earth and of those under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. The confession one day will be made. The confession that everything the Bible teaches about Jesus is absolute truth. You may argue with that today. You may disagree with that today. But just because we disagree with absolute truth doesn't make it untrue. And so, may you humble yourself, recognize the power of that name, the name of Jesus. May you confess Him as Savior, as Lord, as a friend that sticks closer than even a brother in this day and time, so that when we are able to do that in the day of judgment, it will be to our good and not to our bad. Listen to these words that someone shared with me last week. I just want to speak the name of Jesus over every heart and every mind, because I know there is peace within your presence. I speak Jesus. The song goes on and says, I just want to speak the name of Jesus till every dark addiction starts to break, declaring there is hope and there is freedom. I speak Jesus. Because your name is power. Your name is healing. Your name is life. Break every stronghold, shine through the shadows, burn like a fire. I just want to speak the name of Jesus over fear and all anxiety. To every soul held captive by depression, I speak Jesus. Your name is power. Your name is healing. Your name is life. Break every stronghold, shine through the shadows, burn like a fire. Shout Jesus from the mountains. Shout Jesus in the streets, Jesus in the darkness over every enemy. Jesus for my family, I speak the holy name, Jesus. Shout Jesus from the mountains, Jesus in the streets, Jesus in the darkness over every enemy, Jesus for my family, I speak the holy name, Jesus. Oh, what a name. No name any greater than that of Jesus. In fact, if you will speak His name, He will hear you. He will come to you. And you can ask for forgiveness of sin and the salvation of your soul to live with Him in heaven for all eternity. He will hear and He will act. Oh, what a name, the name of Jesus. Would you speak that name in your spirit today, calling on Him, in prayer, telling Him your anxieties, your concerns, 
and knowing that He cares. Heavenly Father, thank You for Jesus. Thank You that You loved us so much that You sent Your only Son, Messiah, Savior, to come to live on this earth, to suffer, to die on the cross, and on the third day to be raised to new life that we might not ever have to see eternal death, but that we would live eternally and live abundant lives in the meantime. Lord, I pray for someone today that they would recognize the power in the name and person of Jesus, in whose name we pray today. Amen. God bless you. Thank you for being with us today. God bless.